Let's do a full face of e.l.f. First, let's hydrate my lips with the e.l.f. Squeeze Me lip balm. Vanilla frosting scent is my favorite of all time. Hydrate my face with the soothing aloe mist. Just got a refill on this Untouchable Invisible Sunscreen 35 Broad Spectrum SPF. And you know it's good when I repurchase it. Two Finger Rule. This sunscreen is only $14 and you can get um, either the glowy one, which makes your face, you know, glowy. Or you can get the Invisible Sunscreen, which makes your face matte and is, it has a built-in primer. I'm not the biggest fan of like sweaty glowiness, so the Invisible Sunscreen is perfect for me. But next up would be these primers, but because this has a built-in primer in it, I'm going to skip out on these. But I think these beat higher-end products, and they're really, really, really good. Next up would be foundation. So I used the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter um, for my foundation. Now it says you can use this under foundation, over foundation, or as foundation. But I really like to use it as foundation because I don't like um, very high coverage. But I love the glow this gives me. This stuff doesn't make me sweaty glowy, but it makes me more glowy from within, you know? Perfect for summer. I'm going to use the Perfect Finish HD Powder all over this just to set it in and make sure it lasts all day. This putty bronzer is my favorite product from them, as you can see. Um, I've hit pan, which I'm so upset about, but just look at this. Hold up, let me do it on this side so you can clearly see. Just look at that. Not patchy at all. Perfect. Just blends in like a dream, guys. Go get your hands on this. It's $7. Like, go. Can we just admire this for a minute? Okay, next is another putty product. It is the Putty Blush Shade Bali. By the way, that bronzer shade was Shade Tan Lines. That's my perfect shade. But I love this shade because it's actually not super red on my skin tone, which is amazing. But it gives a lot of, a lot, like a lot of pigment. This is like, I picked up nothing. Like, look, that's how much I picked up. You can't see it on camera, but in person it's it, it's it's there so i've heard some people speculate that this is very patchy the blush but they're just applying it wrong this is the correct way to apply your putty blush like this not lifting the blu the brush but going in circular motions up and down your cheek this is how the people who say it's patchy apply it like yeah of course it's gonna be patchy if you only apply it to certain areas like you know Make it make sense. I'm gonna use the Eye Shimmer Metallic Shadow in shade Moon as highlighter. I love to use this as liquid highlighter. They recommend it on the site that you can either use it as eyeshadow or highlighter, but okay, you take just a tiny, tiny bit, put it on your nose and blend it out. You can blend it upwards and it just gives a perfect shimmer without looking like super chunky look at that beautiful 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 okay now i'm gonna powder my face up because it's looking a little bit like um sweaty around these areas but it's it's so good right now we're gonna curl our lashes it is time for brows so this is the elf brow lift and this is the instant brow lift pencil I already have pretty decent brows, but I like to touch them up. This is what it looks like inside the container. And I just take a tiny little bit by going like that and put a little bit on this brow and a little bit on that brow. Then I take this and brush everything up. Everything. We like to brush them out to the point where they look like this. I already did it on this brow, but then I like to go like this and just shoop. Then I like to take the pencil side. Oh my god, I'm already running out of my refill, guys. This is my refill. I've already repurchased this once before, and it's only $3. I like to put it up here and make this one higher because this one tends to be higher than this one, and it bothers me. And this one bring down because this tends to be lower than this side. I don't know if you can tell, but I don't know. It bothers me, so I'm going to make it even. I keep one of these everywhere I go. I have one in my school bag. I have one in the car. I have one in my regular bag. I have one at home. I carry this everywhere. I have so many all over the house. Now, this is for sure optional, but I really love eyeliner. So, I'm going to go in with this e.l.f. H2O Proof Eyeliner Pen in Jet Black. Um, e.l.f. 
this is not H2O proof at all. But it's a really good eyeliner and I really like it. It's just not H2O proof at all. Okay, now that the eyeliner is done, it's time for the e.l.f. Lash and Roll. This is the wand. I got it in deep brown because I think brown mascara accentuates my eye color. But it's such a cool wand. And it just makes my eyelashes long. If you're not looking for length and you're looking for volume, I think you should try their Lash Extender Mascara. I'm pretty sure that's their volume one. But this is it so far, one coat. The lashes are looking long. Now I have three choices for my lips actually kind of four but not really. okay we have the elf satin lap uh satin lip stain in shade power mauve we have the elf satin lipstick shade own it and then we have the elf glow reviver lip oil in shade Rose Envy. Which one? Which one are we gonna pick? I already know what I'm gonna pick. Not this. Not this. But the lip stain. It's just a 10. Ready? I've used all of it basically, so, so. not much left. Mm, just beautiful just simply beautiful gotta really get the product because it's more at the bottom of the container which kind of frustrates me but ready now we got some product beautiful okay that's my finished elf look oh wait how could i almost forget elf mist and set matte magic beautiful let's do the hair and wipe off this lip stain and i'll show you the finished product Okay, and this is the final look. Everything all together, my hair, my makeup. Yeah, go get yourself some e.l.f. because this is awesome.